Welcome everyone, I am today playing episode 2 of the campaign After the Storm and we'll be playing it on normal difficulty, Trapper. This episode is going to be interesting for my voice acting. The Malkeshar voice, which frequently causes me to damage my larynx, um, has gone. The Galas voice is gone. Um, in fact, most of the male characters are gone, so uh, I guess I'm going to have to get into those high tones. Warning, some scenarios of this campaign work significantly differently from normal Wesnoff well gameplay. It is especially important to pay close attention to the mission objectives and not try to necessarily kill every single enemy, especially on shrouded maps or in places where enemies seem to respawn continuously. Although not strictly required, players are advised to become familiar with the stories, characters, and historical events presented in other burning suns of Edge of the Island and officially descend into darkness before playing this campaign. If you have not completed episode 1 of After the Storm, you definitely should not play this episode yet. If you want to see those videos, they're all on my channel. Check out Cybernero Druid. Like, comment, subscribe, blah blah blah. Certain sequences make use of floating labels, halos, and standing unit animations, so you might want to make sure those options are enabled and the preferences display. They should be. I remember hearing of the mandate issued to destroy the Scepter of Fire back in the day. I'm curious about why you decided to betray your people by keeping the Scepter's core to yourself, Elenia. That's nothing of your concern. It is not, really, because to me, it seems that you carry with you a dangerous artifact that these people need for some vaguely defined purpose that will most certainly bring no good to this world. Destroying it would be the most logical choice right now. I beg to differ, but with the Union gone, it may well be the only great power remaining on Earth yet that we could use to fight Uriah and the Iron Triad, unless you know something I am not aware of, which I find unlikely. This isn't the best moment to argue over this. Where are you? Blank screen with a progress arrow. The light. A familiar light. It was the warm light of the second sunset. Where was I? I found myself in the middle of a glade, lying on the ground. My entire body was in pain, and my clothes were considerably scorched, but somehow survived. It took me some time to recover from the initial stupor and remember what had happened moments before. The terrifying feeling of my soul fading away, the crumbling underground hive, my despair as I struggled to find a way back to the surface, and my only remaining friend, Balin Keshar, his dark existence full of resentment and spite, an eternity spent as a harbinger of death and destruction, an eternity at long last come to an end but not without first proving his worth against the Chaos Emperor and the creature in possession of Yetnogoth's heart. Oh, who would have ever thought that I would grieve for he whom I was once destined to eliminate, or that his final death would be one befitting a hero? As my memory became clearer, I realized I had cast a teleport spell at the last moment, as if by instinct, in a desperate attempt to escape to the surface. However, a quick glance at my surroundings revealed that it didn't work quite as I had intended. Instead, it had taken me far away from the cursed plains of Wesmere. But how far exactly? Episode 2, Scenario 1, By the Moonlight There seem to be some hostile animals ahead. I'd better move carefully. Okay, Alinea is super beaten up. Eight health. Objectives find a friendly unit. Can't see any hostile animals yet. Don't want to leave the forest though. As a high level unit under your control, Alinea has. Why can I never say Alinea? I keep saying Anilia. 
Alinea has special after maximum level advancements, Amlaz. You can learn more about those by right-clicking her and choosing the unit advancements option. Okay, she is gradually healing when she's in the forest. Uh, let's see the unit advancements. Okay, we've got fairy fire 1, 2, and 3, focus 3. Okay, it looks like she's inherited the abilities from the previous campaign, which is nice. Um, I thought I would be starting from scratch with her, but apparently not. So I've got focus 1, 2, strength 1, 2, and 3. Vitality is boring. Um, thorns 1 and 2 might ultimately be good. Strength 4 is awesome. Shielding is ultimately quite quite weak all round. Um, and I don't see why I would ever go for Fairy Fire, because it just seems... Uh, just seems objectively worse. Although, weirdly, it seems like I've already got it. Um, oh no, yeah, Mystic Fire. I've still got Mystic Fire 6-5. Yeah, why would you replace a 27 damage attack with a... with a... 20, with a... Why would you replace a 30 damage attack with a 27 damage attack? Doesn't make sense. Alright, let's see these hostile animals, if there are any. Okay, there's a wolf. We're going to try and avoid... Il Lupo. I think I can see a village to the northeast. Oh, there's something up there too, another wolf. Oh, gotta be careful. Okay. So. I'm safe in this spot. Yeah, I'm going to keep progressing along these lines. Another wolf, okay. Northeast, A. Alright, I'm going to stop here. I can go to that spot safely if I can reach it. Interestingly, it's one of those things that people say, um, every fantasy game has random wolves that are just out for your blood. It's totally unrealistic, because in real life wolves don't really care much about humans, and they will only go for one if they're really desperate, and if they're in a pack. Whereas these wolves, I know they just go for my blood as soon as, as, soon as they can. Okay, we've got a ruined village. I'm gonna stay in the forest so I can get more health. Can't see any more animals for now. Can't see any more friendly units for now. There's a little pond. Back over here. Aha! <clears throat> halt! Who goes there? Don't pay any attention to that. That's just another of those disgusting forest creatures. Oh, she's injured! That's a trick. They lure you into the dark to do whatever they please with your dead body. You, <laughs> Devon. <laughs> I need help. Could any of you please? Be gone. Unless you want us to slice your throat open. Um, and then have your way with our dead body. Um, yeah, you're weird. <clears throat> What's going on here? Chief, this lass here, she... You look oddly familiar. What's your name? I am Alinea, the... The Lady of Light, as I recall. You weren't of much help to us in the country. Excuse me? I don't know you. Of course you don't know me, because you and your friends were too busy battling the Dark Soldiers to help us civilians in Ardgam. That was my hometown. And my family was trapped, helpless amid the fire. What's your purpose here, and why should we help you? I would like to know where I am, and if it would be possible, I'd also like some help to get to the Grand Council. This is a matter of the utmost importance. Are you even listening to me? I don't feel particularly inclined to help you, at least not right now. If you really need to get to those useless elders, you're on your own. We don't have any time for this nonsense, as we need to defend our town by our own means right now. 
It feels like I've been in a similar situation before. Yeah, doesn't it just? Can you help us? I know our leader appears to be very resentful of you, but it's said that the evil mage Diant has returned from the land of the dead to gain his revenge upon us for banishing him from the village. The rumours of the power he's amassed since then are terrifying. Hmm. Well, I may be able to provide you with my assistance if you would help me in exchange. Really, I'm not asking for much. We can't make any promises, Fairy. Our leader isn't that kind of person. You'll have to figure out how to solve your problems on your own. So be it then. In you come. Some automatic triggered movements. Victory condition. Defeat the enemy leader. And if Alinea dies or Ludry, then I lose. Um, no one seems to care if um, Devon dies, which is uh, for the best. And I've got some gold, but not very much. So. Alright. Um, I do have a recruitment post I can go to. Where are the undead? Okay, we've got a dark adept, we've got a skeleton. Um, they're very elegantly placed, but none of them have any experience, so... Can I play down? It looks like there's going to be an enemy leader up here in the top left. Alright. This is interesting. There's a, a monolith over here. I wonder if that's anything... Maybe I can recruit a bat or a ghost to go over there and check it out. Oh no, I don't have undead anymore! What do I have? What do I have, Alinea? Foot pads, ruffians, and sprites. Man! Okay, these guys suck. Um, I don't have much income, so start off with some ruffians, maybe. Ruffians level zero don't cost me any gold, and their clubs will be useful against against skeletons. Foot pads are gonna be useful too. Um, so let's recruit what I can. I probably want at least one sprite. Two sprites would be, I think, too expensive. Okay. Um, so Linnea's quite beaten up, so if I leave her here, I think I'm going to start off by recruiting four more ruffians. And if I can get even one of them to level up, it'll be worth it in the long term. because then I can get bandits, and they are absolutely juicy. And I don't lose gold this way. Alinea, you just hop into the forest where you'll gain a, a little tiny trickle of health. Okay, Ludry isn't doing uh, all that strong on the recruitment front either. Oh, what's with your unit placement? You got flipping foot pads. Don't put them in the middle of nowhere. Now you're gonna get zapped. Okay, we got birds flying in. I guess those wolves will still be down there. Okay, start to move out. You're quick. So I'll send you back to... I want someone useless to go the village. You're useless. You're 15 hit points. Quick and intelligent. Yeah, I don't have any gold, so Alina can get a village too. You'll be able to move faster in a bit. You guys just uh, make a move. Alright, now. For God's sake, send the other guy back to. No! Alright, Devon. Time to go play pigeon shooting, is it? Oh, this guy's the MVP. And the bird just buggers off. <laughs> Come 
could attack the bird, won't attack the bird. Want you folks where you've got better defense, you can go up there because there's no way an enemy is going to reach you. And you can keep grabbing houses, and Alinea, you can stay where you are for another couple of moments. And I can recruit another footpad, maybe another sprite. I wonder if sprites are going to be useful in this campaign. All of the other campaigns end in. Uh, uh, the horrible, horrible underground darkness where the sprite lawful units are useless, but maybe, maybe this one will be different. I have played this before. In, in fact, I think I've only played this this episode once before, and I don't have very good memories of what happens in it. Again, wasting time attacking birds. I guess the AI is just not aware. Oh, that's, that's an, an aggressive play, for sure. Okay, you're going for that tumble-down village up there. That's fine. Fortunately, the AI is just as capable of sending its units into stupid, pointless battle. Alright. So, who can get in to attack this Star Cadet? Anyone who's strong? You're strong. You're strong as well. You go. And then you are the only one who can get round here. I love that one experience, and then the allied player will be able to finish them off. My need is greater than yours, I'm afraid, AI player. I hereby lay claim to these villages in the name of all of Wesmoth. Linear, you stay where you are for one more turn. You're high level. Ah, stupid AI. And, and and this really? You're more interested in killing the bird than you are in getting income. Fine. Oh. Ah, uh, R.I.P. Advanced unit. Hashtag AI is a complete dumbass. All right, can I? No. So it's a little bit risky to send these guys in. You're resilient. You can tank it better than most. Maybe you can go out in the countryside. And you can stay. Quick and strong is a great combination. I can leave you here. Okay, now we'll probably die. You're quick and strong as well. Uh, you can come in. And get the kill. Excellent. You head north, grab that village. I'll leave the AI this one. It deserved one. And now... Oh, what are we going to have? Um, lots of gold income. So let's have a foot pad. And we'll wait. Next turn we'll get, um, no, we'll get another ruffian. And then go back to the house. Next turn we'll have another foot pad. Another, t uh, yeah, another foot pad. 
Alright, it's going to be really fun to fight these ghouls who poison my units. Um, let's, um, <laughs> I'm very tempted to hang, hang back and let the ally do all the work here. Uh, fortunately, the ally has uh, no such qualms. Everyone hang out in the forest, and let's get going. Oh, a good defensive line. Unfortunately, it doesn't help this guy. Okay, now you, you because you can reach, you probably will go in there and try and attack this guy next turn. So, all right, I'll see if I can uh, bestir myself to offer some backup. Including with this incredibly weak ruffian. Don't think anyone can reach him though. No. And you. Move on towards the front line. You can come down here. You guys can move out. And as was ordained. We'll have another footpad, and then I think, hopefully, once Alinea recovers her own strength... Oh, there's a little castle here, that's cool, that's very cute. I can go there and uh, hopefully recruit some more units. Alright. Uh, where can you go that's useful? Down here, here, there. Get a tiny tad of health, and then you can push forward. In you go. Yeah. I'd love to see that unit get a level. I suspect the eye is not smart enough. I can try and set it up next turn by uh, leaving this ghoul on minimal health, but... I'm not in a great position to do such things either. Hmm, yeah. If I... If I put my uh, slightly experienced footpad here, it will probably die. Uh, ah, okay. Still lots of undead streaming down very gradually, but we'll, we'll try it. And we'll, we'll lose, we'll suicide you. Alright, so now... <clears throat> all you need is one single hit, and you'll get a level. So you stay where you are, you come forward, you come forward. I should really be letting the um, the AI do most of the fighting at this point. Um, maybe it's best if I pull back next turn for that to happen. If I don't lose too many units in the meantime. I'm not moving my units very efficiently at the moment. Okay, Linea's getting close to being on full health. Um, I do worry for this guy, even though he's on a house, or this girl. Never sure with footpads, and in a way, it doesn't really matter. Oh! Missed with both attacks, that's tragic. And now you're gonna die. Okay. Dang it! I tried so hard to set that up. This guy is doing the Lord's work, though. Uh, shame he didn't get a few hits in on that guy in the river. Ah, oh, man, okay, I'm not sure I can deal with this. Alright. 
Well, the AI is, won't capture villagers off me. So I guess everyone's just going to go in here. But I am going to pull back a little bit and let the enemy gain ground. Because I don't want I want to be in a better position to fight back. they're not actually coming out to play properly so once again it probably makes sense I mean it's so many undead no way no way birds suddenly decided to get aggro okay um, I'm not actually sure that we can fight this horde with our my with this, this assortment of um, of losers, so I think we should fall back. It would be nice to to hold this position and to uh, and press forward, but ain't gonna happen. So, but I do have a very chunky income at this point. And it's coming up to dusk, second dusk, which means that the long dark is coming. That is not a great time. So, sorry blue units, but I'm going to leave you in the lurch and run away like a pro. And then some of these defensive units can be triggered. It'd be nice to get Devon killed, but he's so far away down there that uh, I don't think that's going to happen. All right, recruitment now or or health now? I think recruitment. Still dark, so footpads are the way to go. Still gonna be dark, is what I mean to say. Yep. Oh dear, this feels bad, but I think it's the right choice. This, <laughs> this footpad managed to butcher everyone and survive everyone's attacks. That's not great. Why is there even a footpad there anyway? I guess they're following the Dark Mage dude. Every village has some incel Dark Mage who's like, This girl wouldn't go out with me, so I decided to learn dark magic in order to get my revenge on the universe because my life is so meaningless and empty. Stupid birds! Tempted to get Alinea to come out to kill one. But no, I'm going to pull back again. And this guy is going to be really annoying. He might level. Okay, so I'm going to try and hold in this forest here. Yum, 
missed with all your attacks. Okay, what level are you? Level zero. Okay. Croc the Falcon. See if the Spectre can deal. Can I recruit? Yeah, I've got a ton of gold now. Okay, so let's spam some more uh, ruffians. It would be nice to get one of these guys to a level, but uh, as long as I'm in this current situation where the undead are swarming down upon us, it's probably not going to happen. I might even want to pull back a little bit further because then I can get these loyal allies involved. Especially you, because you're occupying a recruitment tile. <laughs> I could do with standing there, and you. Ah, nice work. Okay, you're both dead. favorite units there, skeleton archers. Hopefully my ruffians can gang up on them and beat them down. Um, but do I pull back for some more? I think the answer is yes, yes I do, just for now. Not all you can get very far, but the skeletons can't move far either. I don't want this village to be taken, so I'm just going to go and grab that with this unexperienced footpad. Get some more ruffians. Now, given that these guys don't cost me any gold at all, I can just keep on spamming them out with my gold income at the rate of two a turn, which is very nice. All right, now, if you go into that village, um, or perhaps better, mm, you're going to be dead. Sad. And you can just hop into the forest. It's going to take a lot of um, a lot of finagling to get you to come out, and you won't be very useful anyway because you're only a poacher. So the remaining blue units get mopped up, and we can retreat some more. That is, we could retreat some more, or we could start to take the fight. Everyone here is chaotic. Uh, so, they, you know, the enemy's disadvantaged, but... I'm disadvantaged. Um, sorry. Ugh. I really need to actually think before I say stuff. Um, the enemy has an advantage, but I have the same advantage as what I wanted to say. Alright, now let's try and kill this skeleton. I can afford to lose some ruffians to this. The ones with useless skills. Quick and intelligent ruffian. You go in there. 
Nice work. It's pity you're gonna die. And then you get the experience. Or not. Could give Alinia the experience. Tempting, but then she might get quite the beat down. So I'm gonna use you instead. Alright. Do I want to try and hold a line that runs up here? Hmm. Doesn't seem like losing that many units would be hugely advantageous, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to see what comes. spamming out these ruffians. Um, when it gets to daytime I might get some sprites as well. Now you stay and hopefully you won't just get instantly killed. The footpad's a little bit faster than the rest of these folks. There's another footpad somewhere around who's got loads of experience. I don't think I've, uh, I've seen him though. Or her. Yep. Pulled all the way back so I could get these allied troops involved, and now the allied troops are still not getting involved, because um, <laughs> still none of the enemy units are close enough, and if I pull back even further... Well... Uh, and I, I will be the first to admit that I have not played this brilliantly well. I want to rescue my experienced footpad, because this fight isn't going great. You run down here... A town in the south could bring in the sp sprite. It's, it's just risky because you probably just take a ton of damage in return, and then you get and then get killed next turn. But uh... okay, um, yeah, that was definitely pointless. I. Seemed like it could have worked in principle. <laughs> I love to make this argument when all my strategies fail. Alright, you grab this remaining village. You're dead. You're dead to me. You're strong and resilient, that's a great combination. I want to try and keep you alive. You're just intelligent and strong, I'm not so worried about you. Maybe I should just go straight for this guy, he's easier to kill. But it was not to be. Now let's kill, let's very definitely kill this guy. Nice work. Now, since everything's gone absolutely to shit up here, I'm gonna pull back. You can you can guard that. I'm I'm fine with that. Um, so, what does pulling back look like? Recruit some more ruffians. I'm gonna get some footpads soon. And then you folks can come and take up defensive positions on the ramparts. Do 
I want to guard this house? If I guard it with anything other than a foot pad, it's going to go down. Let's try it. Oh dear, I'm 20 turns into this mission. Yeah, it's... Uh, might have to want might want to replay this for more gold, depending on how hard the next scenario is. And Alinea, you can stay where you are. Um, I think I don't really worry about people attacking you. see much of that 60% defense now, did we? Alright, now the allied unit should be triggered to come out next turn. But it's the daytime! So I'm going to push forward too. a few uh, jots of damage in here so that Linear can come and roast. But it was not to be. Perfect. You did together in the end. Okay, um, don't trust you to survive. Pants. Good. Oh, you're quick. Now I've uh, balls this up because now the poacher won't find a spot to come in and attack. The only spot would be this village and he won't take a village off me because he's too kind. You're doing, a, you're doing the Lord's work sitting there guarding. And I think these skeletons, this, this trickle of skeletons is starting to, starting to wear thin. So I'm going to put you there so that you defend. Oh, I should have hired some units before I did that. Ah, oh, I'm a dumbass. Oh, great work, George. Come on, you guys. Where's the strong and resilient one? Did he die? Oh no, he's on the front line. <laughs> Bomber! <laughs> I'm such a moron. <laughs> well, at least you're going to run out and attack next turn. You'll probably go there. So that's something. So I can put you down here. Hopefully you'll suicide on the footpad, but I don't suppose you'll be that stupid. And... I'll put you here so I don't get too badly outflanked. Alright, let's see how this goes. You should be triggered. You should be very triggered. Trigger warning. Yeah! You go, Inayant the Woodsman. <gasps> Well, that was your short, miserable life. I can live with that. Kill! Yeah. Oh. Just can't level these guys up. 
Oh, there's the experienced footpad, it's hanging around in the rear. No, don't attack that one. That's my favourite one. Alright, still enough skeletons around to warrant recruiting some more folks. And I've got another recruitment spot, because that guy came out and got killed. Good, good. Still, the turn count is looking pretty, uh, pretty ropey. Let's get some sprites. Well, a sprite, and then a couple of ruffians. Well, you two are the people I would like to not get yourself killed. This guy's irritating. Maybe Alinea now can come out and take care of him. Again, I would like to do a little bit of damage before that happens. Can anyone reach? You can reach. One hit, please. Too much to ask? Yeah. Thought so. You. Ah. Uh, uh. And okay, well, Alinea just go in and to uh, try and kill him anyway. Or maybe slow him. That make that would make more sense. Um, given that you'd only get the kill on all five hits, and that seems unlikely. Yeah, well that could happen. Okay, um... <laughs> this is going great! <laughs> right, and you are very close to a level, which is nice. Um, would like to kill this guy, but... Uh... I feel like the priority is to get rid of some skeletons first. Oh. Now where are you least likely to die? Um, probably in the middle of my base is the answer. And then you come out and go in this woodland. You can stand here um, for what it's worth. See if you can get any damage there or or here. Could even kill this guy if I got really lucky. Oh well. And then you just go for it. This guy has uh, got the luck of the gods on his side, apparently. And uh, this guy is still quite happily up here in the forest. You stay there, because I don't want the skeletons capturing that. It looks like Green's really run out of money, because he's just um, spamming zombies now. And at that point, I want to switch into spectres, uh, sprites and, uh, and use those. All right, Alinea's going to get chopped a bit this turn, which is sad. No, no extra zombies. Ha! My footpad is better than your footpad. Ah, oh, so many zombies! And that skeleton's gone where it can't be can't be hurt. And the skeletons are all sneaking around the north. Can't afford any sprites. Can I undo that? No, I can't undo that. I wanna kill this guy. But it probably won't work. Because I don't have enough units. Unless I use a sprite, and then the sprite will die, because it will get attacked by zombies. 
Uh, or if I use Alinea, Alinea is too far away. Well, the AI has done a bang up job of placing its units in irritating positions this turn. Um, be like, I should focus on killing zombies. So just worried about this northern flank, which is basically just a linear at this point. She's tough. She can take care of herself. Uh, just the time for my uh, favorite unit to fuck up. Um, what can you do? want someone to do damage to this guy without giving me experience. Oh no, it's just a not it's just not a great turn for me. Oh, I don't, oh no. Um <laughs> what am I gonna do? I want Alinea to go up to this village. And again, this sprite is now vulnerable, so I'm going to stick this guy here as a buffer. You come down here. You go to the village. All right, you stay where you are. Oh, you could come down here and... Um, would that be worth it? Lose a footpad in order to take out this experienced skeleton. Might just be feeding experience to this guy instead. No, I want, to keep, I want to hang on to this house. <laughs> Not the zombie! <laughs> Alright, no one, really no one wants to attack Alinea, and that's uh, understandable. Interesting unit placement there. Thought they were trying to save you, not get you randomly killed. Where's my strong resilient guy? Can you get a kill? Only if you get jammy, and then you wouldn't level up. Still want to kill this guy. Keep you away from the zombies, and have you kill this skeleton. Maybe have you retreat again. It's not honourable, but maybe the best plan. <laughs> ah! What? No! No! Okay. Sprites and a ruffian. That's all I can afford. going to redeploy you. You're the strong resilient one. Um, 
Well, let's see if Alinea can... And what Alinea can do... Ah, uh, the movement is not correct. The movement is not what I would like. Alright, you go and heal. And now, you see if you can do this. No, you can't. Alright. <clears throat> okay, but at least the enemy is finally looking like it's running out of numbers, other than these stupid zombies. And if I keep creating... I've got to stop creating ruffians, because the ruffians are just going to get turned into zombies. Ugh. Can I trigger this guy to come now? Ah, ah, a ruffian on my allies team. I gotta say, this scenario has been much harder than anything in uh, in in episode one. Maybe I was lulled into a false sense of security. Good, no new zombies this turn. Okay, well now I think I should be in a position where I can start to clean things up a bit. Even though it's night time again, or it's getting there. Um, so how do I, how shall I start? You are not too far from the level. You can't do quite enough damage. Unless you hit twice, which you might, yes you do, excellent. Uh, you can't reach that guy. This guy can reach that guy. Oh, let's try it. Oh. Nothing. No. No sentence in Wesnoth that ever starts with "Let's try it" should be uh, should be considered useful or helpful. Oh, great! I've just okay. Now you'll probably die as well. Let's see. the experienced one goes down, but my uh, positioning is all out of whack, and everyone can get into attack linear, but that's actually okay, because she's super hench compared to the rest of these losers. Question is what I want to do with these guys, and I think the answer is defend. So you go down to this village, you come out here. You come here. Alright. You do, you go, yes, 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 take that zombie down. And don't become one yourself, because that would be sad. Yeah, you're a zombie. Oh. oh, my allies, what are you doing? And they've got a village. Ah, it's night time. <laughs> okay, well, let's see what I can. Uh... No, I don't want. I cannot, cannot risk anyone else becoming a zombie here. That'll do it. Hmm. 
Not if I'm confident in mopping these folks up. I could put you... Oh, I'm going to put you here. Because you're too expensive to be wasted. All the hits. Uh, let's let you, get, let you get the kill if you can. Uh, uh. Oh, fuck's sake. Okay. Um, my strong resilient ruffian, who I've been trying to save up keep alive, has failed. You go around here. Okay, only when there are no more zombies in this area will I be satisfied. And there are still... quite a lot of zombies in this area. That's something. Okay, so now this zombie can reach the sprite. Um, and if I can kill this one too... If you go and recruit... Yeah, you can still get back there to fight. So take a sprite. Um, do I want another ruffian? Is it useful to have another ruffian? Why not? It doesn't cost me any long-term gold. <clears throat> oh, you bumhole. How dare you shoot Alinea twice when she's sitting on a, on a village? That's just mean. Alright, so try and kill the remaining zombie. Fail miserably. Well, at least you shouldn't be in range of anyone you can one-shot. If you two gang up on this sprite, it could go down. That would be unlucky, but it would be thoroughly on par with everything else that's happened so far with me playing this scenario. Alright, you go there. You go there. And we are s hopefully safe. Alright, that was ineffectual. So we can start pushing north. And unfortunately, we've only got 14 turns left. I'm actually not sure we'll make it. Um, gonna have to really uh, put pedal to the metal. forward. Everyone gang up next to Alinea so that you can benefit from her healing. And let's go! Let's go! wildly underestimated the enemy in this scenario. It uh, pains me to say anything good about um, day and the incel dark mage. Okay, we've got another skeleton on the way. You can find my footpad if you want. It's the daytime after all. Keep it moving. Yeah, that was pathetic. Oh. 
Not impressed by you either. That's more like it. <clears throat> okay. Now you, if you fight and don't die, which you will, you'll get a level. And I get a thug. You can come round back. You're the strong, resilient one. Um, sadly, you can't. It would just be just be lovely if you could, if someone could get there and do a bit of extra damage. Because otherwise, yeah, okay. Okay, so, linear. Well, let's go to an archer, that's fine. Oh, Revan on the cliffs, that's less fine. Um, is he made of stone or something? Doesn't seem to be able to... Yeah, he's made of stone, that's weird. I bet he's gonna, like, unstone as soon as we get ready. Okay. Time to move out. Arise! Arise once again, the fallen warriors of times long past. Arise! I don't like the sound of that. Not at all. Yeah, okay, so yeah, the, the unstoned warrior is now there. Uh, could be worse. You finally kill something! Congrats! Bring you down here. Get some more visibility and no one much can attack you. Actually put you here so you can guard Alinea. And everyone else, you need healing, so you go across the bridge first. You go here. If you really want to be attacked by a skeleton, you can be. Oh, I've seen something else. There's another normal skeleton. Okay. Uh, this guy's got quite a lot of villages. That's the sad thing. And my lowly ruffians can bring up the rear. This isn't a fantastic force for taking on a lich, but I do have a linear at least. Okay, this is where it's kind of difficult to know what to do, because I don't really have the time to hang around. I'm going to try and... I should be able to take out one of these revenants and then stall the rest with my uh, foot pads. Well, let's try it. That was a strong start. Good, you get a level. And for that I'm going to give you strength 4. Very nice. Okay, now... You go there. Uh, I don't really care if you die, but I would like you to hold. And 
then maybe one of these guys. It's just kind of too much of a risk. Oh, you can go. Okay. No kill, not quite, but still not too bad. Probably lose some on this turn, I'm not really sure who. Maybe this guy. Or not. <clears throat> it's a shame it's night time now. Ah, oh, there's another revenant here. Bloody hell. Go away! Go away, stupid revenants. A house! I'm a zombie over there? Why? That was pretty crummy too. Well, the linear goes where the big bad is. keep you in good health so that you can help me fight. You will die if this guy gets all three attacks on 40%. No. Good. So we have another thug and this time we've got one that's strong and resilient. Very nice indeed. You come back. And someone else like you can try and get the kill. Alright, you're well on your way towards a level as well. You failed. Yeah, I've really got nothing here that can kill a lich. Um, these spectres will crumple like tissue paper if I, if I have them fight liches, because they're weak to arcane and cold. And they've got no hit points, basically. Even the resilient ones got 29. Okay. Well, let us proceed. The remaining nine turns, and uh, see what happens in this corner of the map. What? How many flippin' revenants? How many guys? No! Go away! It's annoying. They can all reach this square, which means... <coughs> oh, pardon me. Um... Which means that anyone who goes there will get attacked by everyone, probably. Yeah. And I can't get around the top because people aren't fast enough. And I can go there. Alright, now I just need one hit to bring home the bacon. That can come from you, hopefully. Good, and that levels you up to an outlaw as well. Okay, now no one can reach. Oh, you can reach it, good. And there's no point. Oh, sorry, just conked the microphone. Um, there's no particular point guarding this castle. So I'm just going to ignore the castle too and go north. 
The only problem with that is that everyone's kind of slow here, other than the sprites. Ah, oh, still recruiting zombies, are you? You are a royal pain in the ass. You're very slow. You're all very slow. Oh, so slow. Not sure, okay, I think I think probably that's all the revenants at least. No. Oh well, it looks like a... Uh... Ah, there we go. Okay, we'll like it. Probably just going to have to put my sprites in harm's way and, and kind of shrug my shoulders at this point. No, they can't even kill it. This is terrible. <laughs> Come on! No. Pathetic. Okay, everyone sucks. No, I think that probably at this stage... I guess I'll go for this sprite, but... Yeah, it's not good. Not good at all. None of this is good. Ah, you have been sent by my brother to destroy me, isn't that right? Your brother? Well, less chatter and more action, I say. You shall all embrace undeath soon, no matter whether you want or not. Oh, 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 I aggroed the lich. Ah, oh, this is going to be bad. Maybe I can pull him out and kill him in one turn. No, I didn't want to do that either. Sweet. That's actually really cool. <laughs> you know, sometimes sometimes the luck comes, I guess, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, now, what can I do here? What I can do is use this thug to soften this archer up a bit, and then hopefully kill the archer with a sprite. Yeah, perfect. Now these remaining sprites can kill zombies, or try to. They're not super effective against zombies. I don't think they become zombies if... You're even closer to a level now, just uh, don't let yourself get killed. And to that end... Faster. <laughs> Could just have Elenia go for good old clonk on this guy. Four clonks, and down he goes. Now, you could go into the house and attack in range. Don't much care if you do. I uh, don't want to go there, you want to go here. 
but to prevent that from happening I'm going to stick Ila the Outlaw on this house next to Alinea. Again, let's see what this little incel loser decides to do with his time. Well, he decides to do precisely nothing, which means we come in and slow him with Alinea. Uh, who else can reach? Oh, you guys can all reach. Um, how many people can range? Oh, you can get. You can reach too. Okay, that's fun. So then I should save these three slots for the southerners, and use you. All right, not much damage, but that's fine. Well, wasn't probably going to recall you anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, you're having trouble killing liches. One more turn then. You're another case of can I be asked to recall you later? And my team of uh, thugs is not having a fun time in the snow, so I'll just move them gradually towards the target. Okay. Are you going to recruit someone in that slot? I bet you are, because you didn't last turn. Yeah, there you go. Alright. Uh, too much for risk. You're good enough as it is. Should probably just give Elenia the experience. You will get that kill, so let's see if these sprites can instead take out the newly newly hired skeleton. Yay, I've got a fire fairy. Do any of you Now there's no way I'm gonna recruit I'm gonna recall you, so Alright, well you get a bit of experience and no one is any the wiser. And if I do need to uh, to have thugs later, I know where to look. And uh, now, Elinia. Ah, you think you can destroy me, don't you? Wah. Enough of this. That wasn't too hard. Our village is saved! Yeah. I admit, I didn't expect this to work out with a fairy leading those impressionable fools. Well done, everybody. As for you, fairy, what was it that he needed from us again? I also have a name, as I told you before. I suggest that you get to the point before I change my mind. But sir, her help in defeating the undead was... I need to know exactly where I am, and I must also meet with the Grand Council of the Northern Peoples as soon as I may, for which I could need some help depending on our location. I see. Well, we also need to arrange a meeting with the Council for our own purposes. Sending some of our most capable hunters with you, along with our messengers, might not be a bad idea after all, as you seem to excel in the arts of healing, and the Northern Forests are not particularly safe nowadays. I'd be very grateful if you provided me with such help then, but... And welcome to the Hard Forest. 
All right, 100 bonus gold. Okay, it could be worse. Hopefully that's fine. <laughs> Don't know how much gold I'm supposed to have for the next scenario, but uh, yeah. All right, teething troubles in the first video of the new campaign, but still I survived and I didn't lose anyone too drastic. Um, I've got a fire fairy, a couple of outlaws, a couple of thugs, and I lost a bunch of level one units and level zero units. So there we are. And I uh, hope you enjoyed watching this, and I hope you tune in next time. Bye for now.